The start of round three for K1 Speed Carlsbad GP. We start on pole position with a 29-2. As you can see, I'm on the outside lane. Um, I decided to pick the outside, make it a little interesting for the guys behind me. Um, as you're going to see, this is not going to uh, do well in my favor, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, in P2, in the number 16, we'll call this person Jimmy. Um, I won't give them their full name just for privacy reasons, but as we get on for the start, um, as you're going to be able to see, this is not going to be a good start for me as a rolling start because Jimmy says, you know what, I'm not going to be behind the leader, I'm going to take off instead. Jimmy obviously is going to be ahead of me for the start, so we're going to try to tuck him the best we can. As we have Don right behind me, he's going to try to overtake me as we go into the uh, turn two. I'm going to give him a little bit of a bump as I get bumped behind. Now we're going to catch up to Jimmy as best we possibly can. He's pulled about, I would say, half a second gap, and we're going to try to bring that down. Um, the card I had was really, really good in the top end, but as you're going to see here, it's going to really struggle through the teardrop section with a lot of wheel spin. Um, as we catch right up uh, to the 16, I'm going to give him a shove, and my goal was just to try to give him some space. I'm trying to get some clean air. As we go into turn two, into turn three, I give him another big shove. Um, and it was very frustrating to be on pole and start on a good position, but unfortunately lose it because someone doesn't know the rules. Um, as we go back into teardrop, I'm close, but I'm not close enough. And at this point, it was just me trying to find clean air and trying to find a move that would make me work. Uh, as I lose a little bit of time, but the card I had can make it up on the straightaway. Um, unfortunately, we go into a caution as one of the competitors that was leading the championship, Ben, um, he had a cart issue which caused us to stop. Um, and right now for points, uh, going into this race, I was 10 points behind Ben uh, in first. I was currently, I was P4. Um, so not showing up to round two definitely affected me in the championship, but scoring uh, maximum port points for GP1 was really important. So uh, for GP3, I was really hoping to maximize as much, many points as I can and try to gain a first uh, for the season. Um, and the only thing between that and, and, a po and a win is the number 16. So I had to make quick work of him as they are just lining everyone back up, single file, um, and trying to make sure that everyone has a good gap in between each other and make sure, making sure everyone has their proper, um, proper spots back. As we're getting ready to go back running, as you can see here, one of the marshals getting the 16 underway. Um, and soon we'll be about to go green, green, green. Um, still into the caution as we're good to go now. Still on the back of the 16, pushing him around the racetrack. Um, I was really, really quick. I was the only person to set a 29 in the race, which was really impressive for me, but still a little frustrating as we're going to go middle to defend from Don behind in P3. Still in the back of the 16 car as we head down to the straightaway. Still right on his back bumper, really trying to maximize the turn one as we run a very similar line into turn one as I'm shoving him out of the way, trying to get clean air as I lose the back end a little bit on some wheel spin. Going into Schumacher, we give him a huge bump, we're able to go down the inside and he puts us into the wall side by side. As we go into the chicane, he's just gonna completely close the door. We're like, we're like not even there. Side by side into the teardrop section, still gets help from behind from Don. We're gonna tuck in right behind the 16 and we're able to keep second place. A little frustrated at the move, not even a little bit frustrated. I was very, very mad after that. Uh, I understand these these uh, guys want to race rough, and at this point it was red for me. I was like, you want to you wanna use bumpers? I'll use bumpers. As we are right on the back of him, as we head into the chicane section, just kind of giving him bumps all the way through the track, um, every part I can, probably which was not helping me because it was allowing him to get away, but just a smoother line through Teardrop was able to bring me up a lot closer. As we head into turn one, I'm gonna give him another huge bump. Um, still very close. As we head two, three, and four, huge contact out back. You hear that big clank. That was some major contact out back. Um, and definitely don't know who that was involved with, but I knew someone had gone around as they speed as they're speeding someone back up to catch up with us to the pack uh, we're green 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 again we're right on the back of the bumper still the 16 and i'm very frustrated trying to find a line that's going to work 
he's very close. Um, I'm a little frustrated at you know pinching someone and acting like they're not there because um, that's going to take both people out. Um, so my goal is at this point just push him away from everyone else where we got clean air and at this point we have a ton of clean air so it was hopefully no more cautions as I'm right on the back bumper and just can't can't find a move anywhere which is extremely frustrating um, we head into teardrop again and I'm able to gain a lot of time through that corner as I get a good run very good run out of the last corner I'm gonna duck to the outside and then I'm gonna duck back to the inside there's just enough room for me Barely, as we go into slow-mo, I get a really good run, and I decide to poke out and try to maximize my um, entrance speed into turn one. I cut in, and there's just enough room for me. I turn in, and he just turns in, and to me personally, it was, he was turning in just to turn in to spin out. He wasn't going to make the corner. As I speed us back up to when we're all getting back together, or else this video would be way too long, as we're trying to roll green again, but Jimmy uh, doesn't know how to operate the gas pedal very well, and soon we'll be good to go. Right now, which um, at this point, I'm driving with a lot of frustration, I'm trying to at this point not let it take over, but the frustration is built up enough where I was just going to knock him around and hopefully knocking him around was going to give me a chance to get first as I lose a lot of time on um, the warm up still trying to drive in clean air just to try to find a good line and still still nothing still nothing uh, there wasn't really much places I could think I could make pass cleanly because that's what I wanted to do I always want to race everyone really cleanly um, but of course that wasn't really going to work as I'm going to try and move around the outside into teardrop he squeezes me into the wall so losing my momentum so I know he knows I'm there obviously he knows I'm there and at this point I really just wanted to move him out of the way and say I'm faster just let me through and of course you know that's never going to happen in a racing, racing environment so it was all about either I can move him or I can find a way cleanly as I lose a little bit of speed out of the exit of Schumacher trying to correct a slide. Still following and at this point there wasn't much I could do except just tuck in and and just try to bide my time and figure out a good way to make a move. Um, and still there wasn't really many, many places I could do an overtake on. My cart wasn't fast enough through let's say Schumacher to try to move around the outside and try to go side by side through chicane but already knowing that he's going to put me in the wall like I'm not there um, I knew that wouldn't really really wasn't going to work out as uh, I'm still right on the back bumper and trying to gain a lot more momentum as the white flag is out I'm a little frustrated to see that flag come out uh, as you can see by my hand going up in the air I'm really surprised that that flag came out I thought I had a couple more laps to go at this point it was make or break for me so it was I'm going to give him the bumper and then I realized I'm going to do my teardrop move. Uh, huge bomb into teardrop. I get a good run out of chicane. I'm going to tuck in right behind. I'm going to turn in, and he turns in, and we make big contact. Huge contact for the 16 as we slow that down. Um, his line is very shallow through here, but I would assume he sees me and just keeps the wheel turned in. And, you know, I, I blame that on me 100% on my fault. Um, I was trying to go for a, a move that wasn't going to stick, uh, so that was a little frustrating, but as they're going to line us back up and get us all ready to go. I 
have no clue what's happening. Just zero. Zero clue what that was going on. So at this point, they were going to give us a one lap shootout between the top four guys. So Jimmy in P1, myself in P2, Don in P3, and another gentleman in P4. So it was a shootout for the podium here. And we're going to get rolling underway here shortly as they're going to give us speed. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I'm a little frustrated at this point, and I know that I can lose it right now. Um, still side by side through T1, I'm tucking in, and at this point it was, I knew my fate, which was going to be P2 or lower, I wasn't going to be able to make a move unless I was able to hunt a huge dive bomb or just completely take him out. As we go into the teardrop, or teardrop section, Don able to get a great run as we head into teardrop, I block him off of the middle, and uh, coming home, P2, another P2 finish, unfortunately really frustrating trying to gain as much points as I can um, while there's still not a ton of people out. Still a good race. Um, I would say a good recovery from where we started. But I really, really want to get a win for the season. And I'm really hoping that uh, April is going to be the race that does it for me. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I really appreciate to everyone who's been watching the videos, those likes. Um, please share with everyone as much as you guys can. I would really appreciate it. And uh, I'll get some more content out for you guys. Thank you, and please like and subscribe.